Hey guys, today we are making up a budget economical meal in these economically challenged times. Yes, you can make up this ground beef over mashed for about 10 or 12 bucks, which makes it a great midweek meal for the entire family. So let me show you how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan over medium high heat. Throw in an LB or a pound or half a kilo of lean ground beef. So we'll just break this up and cook it for about five minutes until it's cooked through and becomes browned. And this is gonna cost you, I'd say about six bucks at your local grocery store. Okay, after about six minutes, our beef is cooked perfectly here. Now throw in half a small chopped onion, four cloves of chopped garlic, and I'm beginning to wonder if I'm not a garlic freak. And about eight sliced button mushrooms. Now they don't have to be button, they can be shiitake, whatever you like, but I just like the old button. Stir and saute until those mushrooms begin to sweat, those onions become translucent, and that garlic becomes fragrant. Next up, in with about a cup of frozen veggies. Now, you don't have to use mixed veggies. You can use corn, peas, you know, whatever you have on hand. A couple of tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken things up. A good tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and you British folks out there, don't try and correct me because I will never get it right. Of course, my all-time favorite that I buy by the 45-gallon drum, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A good crack of salt, I'd say about a teaspoon. And of course, of course, of course, you've got to have some ground black pepper. And always remember, guys, all the ingredients are in the blog over at cookandshare.com. Once again, grab up that ever-so-trusty spoon and mix everything together. And isn't this looking fantastical? Oh, my goodness. Alrighty, then. Now we are going in with half a cup of beef broth just to get that gravy effect. And, of course, you've got it. A stirring and a mixing we will go. And this now is looking even better. And sometimes we just amaze ourselves, guys. I mean, I just had to get that sound effect in. So we are pretty much done, guys, and it is time to plate up. So I am going to scoop up some mashed potatoes that I secretly made when you weren't looking, but I will put a link to the recipe below. And we'll put these onto a plate. Then some of that secret ground beef mixture over top of those taters. Go ahead and garnish it up with some parsley to turn that, oh, this is good, to a wow factor. And there it is, our economical, ever so easy and delicious ground beef over mashed. Life doesn't get much cheaper and it doesn't get much better. And you bite into this, my friends. It is so good. It's got that down-home kind of comfort food to it. Oh, your family and friends will just simply love this. And as I say in every video, if you're hungry for more, like and subscribe.